Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add an automation clip. Now I don't know, a lot of people have seen my I'm on one video and they wondered how did I make the the main sign or sound sound different at one point in the video and then just out of nowhere it sounds completely different but it's the same sound. I'm going to show you guys how to do just that basically. I'm going to show you guys how to add an automation clip to just about anything alright so basically first thing I'm going to show you is an automation clip on volume control alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the mixer right here if you don't know anything about the mixer please watch my past few videos video um, one about the mixer was adding patterns to the mixer adding effects to the mixer creating a sub mix to master and now this is automation clip so come over to the master volume right here and then you want to right click this volume knob and then it's going to say create automation clip when you click that it adds over here into the playlist all right and so you can see there's different things here whatever it goes up and down so like usually say you're you want to add a you know you want the volume to drop toward the end of the song so you want to right click there on the line you want to right click where you want it to start to drop and then bring at the end all the way down so that it slowly fades away so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here I'm going to play from this point all the way to the end and you'll notice okay alright so it quiet down right there another thing that you want to do you don't want to just have it come down at one point what you want to do is you want to come to the middle of both points that you want it so the main level which is right here and which is your starting point of the drop then your end point of the drop what you want to do is you want to come to the middle of that and kind of like bring it down a little bit so what, what that's going to do is it's going to drop slowly and then just out of nowhere it's going to fade. Alright? Or it's going to drop a little faster, sorry. But then it's going to fade still. So let me show you that. that's more of how you fade out a song right there alright and you can use automation clips for just about anything another thing I can do is uh, say I wanted to add um, let's see let's just add a filter alright so we have a filter under the master volume or you can do it to the sub mix it doesn't matter but just do it to the master volume so we're gonna add a reverb and filter so reverb and filter alright bring that down a little bit right click here so where the volume is for that specific uh, effect right click that create automation clip and then right click reverb and create automation clip now this is a little bit what I did for um, I'm on one but probably not the same effect so alright so we're gonna see if we can make it sound any different okay that changed the sound a little bit but that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm trying to look for something that is very noticeable for you guys. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find something like very noticeable.
Okay, so we're just going to keep the f the filter there. We're going to create an automation clip for that. All right, and then we're going to switch this reverb out for like a. Uh, let's see. Let's just use a phaser. I know I spent about a minute and a half trying to find a sound, but create automation clip for that. All right. So what we're gonna do is you just want to play around, you know, and just do random things in here just to show you. So did you hear like the phaser sound in there? If not, it's probably because the volume's a little low, but basically just do that. Try it out with a couple different things. I can't remember what I use on I'm on one. I believe it was reverb, but it was just to a specific sound. As a matter of fact, that's what I'll do. We're gonna go to legato strings or the brass. Alright. And then we're gonna do the filter so basically I use fruity filter and then we're gonna um, create an automation clip there and then we're gonna use reverb alright and then right click create automation clip now it's only gonna do it to the brass so since the brass is the loudest point in the video you're gonna hear a difference when I uh, go like this all right oops you know oh. I am so tired guys I'm sorry about this I've been making these videos for three hours now <laughs> alright so alright so we're just gonna see what this sounds like So basically there you can see that the brass has a way different sound to it. It doesn't sound anything like a brass, more like a synth kind of. But you know, just play around with that, see what you come up with. But that's a little bit on how to add an automation clip to your video. So thank you.